Hello and welcome to Your California Life. I'm your host, Desiree Shepard. Get ready for some laughs because our next guest is a comedian who has roasted audiences from Canada to France and even here in the U.S. He's going to perform at Punchline Sacramento this weekend and he's here to tell us all about it. So let's welcome comedian Sugar Sammy. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Yes, okay, so you've been touring a lot. I've been reading 61 shows in 20 cities is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. How, tell, our, tell our viewers about the show. What can they expect? Well, it's a, like, it's a fun show. It's, I'm, I'm from Canada, yeah. you know, of Indian origin, so... What's up, Stockton? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm here just to, uh, you know, pretty much give you guys uh, the Canadian's perspective on what's going on with your country. Okay, which, there which we go. <laughs> we need it. We need yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm here to roast you guys. There like, we go. Yeah. We're getting roasted. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. prepared for it. And I understand you've played over 2,000 shows in three dozen countries. What do you attribute your success to? What do you like about our U.S. audiences when you come out here? I love the U.S. audience. Mm -hmm. I feel like the U.S. audiences are always up for a good time. They're always up to having fun, especially when they come into a comedy club. They're ready uh, for some action. You know? yeah. And I think a lot of the fans who come to my show know, you know, I'm going to, It's it becomes like a, a party on stage. Yeah. You know? It becomes a big like roast for all of your country and yeah. all of your countrymen. And, you know, there's so much material here. They always say, you know, whatever's bad for humanity is great for comedy. So this is why I'm touring yeah. America right now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my biggest fear about going to a comedy show is sitting right up front mm -hmm. because of the fear of getting roasted. So how do you kind of balance that with the audience and who to pick? Well, you could see who wants it and who doesn't, right? You could, like, you feel it out. So yeah. who wants to be a part of the show and who doesn't? And it's yeah. like, you know, you roast, but they also become the star of the audience, uh, of the show. Yeah. So at the end, they're always the ones, you know, who are, like, adding me on social media. We'll share clips. They'll share them out. They're yeah. like proud to get that yeah. little uh, roast, you know? And you're smooth with it, because I mm -hmm. saw, like, you even have, like, the Karens in the audience, <laughs> and you kind of know how to handle that very well, which takes, a, like, a talent, a technique to right. do that. Yeah, I think you got to <laughs> sort of make them part of the show and, uh, and you know, give them a big round of applause at the end. So yeah. I think that's always fun. But, yeah, no, I, I got I to say I love touring America, and I love yeah. U.S. audiences, and I love the differences between Canada and the U.S. I mean, it's so close but there's so many little differences what differences do you see oh i mean right away just the fast food places <laughs> your fast food places always sound like sexual regrets <laughs> but think about it in and out ihop five guys jack in the box like doesn't stop <laughs> <laughs> you're like what? you know it's not about us <laughs> yeah right away so many differences yeah. yeah yeah and then okay along with doing comedy you're one of the judges on the french version of america's, america's got talent mm -hmm. in france how do you like that i love it i yeah. love it because you kind of see you know the spectrum of artistic talent yeah. from the amazing, excellent, you know, outstanding talents yeah. to, you know, people who should be warned not to do this anymore yeah. and not yeah, to quit yeah. their day job. Do you, do you, can you like list anybody, like someone that was super, super great and then maybe somebody where you're like, like you mentioned, oh, maybe you I shouldn't think, do this. I think my favorite is usually the dance troops. The dance mm. troops come in, they're organized, yeah. they're, uh, they've rehearsed for months and months. And, you know, being a dancer is so, uh, so uh so crazy and so such yeah. a um a difficult career that, yeah. but that you know to really be dedicated to it and see someone show up and deliver that craft properly mm -hmm. and you know deliver such excellence to me is uh one of my favorite things and then you have someone i mean i've seen someone come in just with scissors <laughs> and show us how to use scissors oh. as a talent. <laughs> like as a lefty, maybe? Or? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I couldn't stop cracking up because I thought it was a joke. I thought yeah. the person was pranking us. Yeah. But no, they were really serious about this thing that they've been practicing since they were kids. And that made... Uh, that You're like, that was... Day. Yeah. Uh, those are my favorites. Yeah. The people who think they have talent. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you get to see it live and yeah. just let them know, hmm, yeah. maybe something else. And have fun. And it's have fun. It's entertaining for me. Yes. And you do shows in French, and you do, and you even do shows in both French and English at home in Canada. So how hard is it to kind of switch the flow from doing that? Well, you know, I grew up in Montreal, so, yeah. you know, we're bilingual. So yes. we speak both languages, and a lot of times in the same sentence, in okay. the same conversation. Mm -hmm. So that's very natural for me as well. Yeah. And it's natural to do that show for those audiences mm -hmm. in Quebec. But uh, when I tour America, it's obviously all in English. And when it's in Fran France, it's all in French. And then in Quebec, the rest of Quebec is all in French, too. And oh, they're wow. different types of French. You know, they're not the same yeah. uh, slang and the same vernacular. So y you have to adjust as well. But, yeah. you know, it's a great exercise for the brain. Mm -hmm. They always say keep exercising your brain. That does it. Languages does it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. And yeah. you were saying it's pronounced Montreal. 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 But if you really want to be authentic, it's yes. Montreal. Oh, oh, okay. Do that one more time. Okay, wait. Ladies, <laughs> Montreal. Oh, there we go. For the ladies, you look right at the camera, too. So you knew what you were doing. Okay, so you're in Sacramento. What do you plan on doing here besides doing your shows? Well, my Indian family all called me, so 
they're all coming from Stockton for sure. So we're, we're all going to hang. There we um, go. <laughs> so, you know, you always got to entertain the family. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, I would love actually, uh, my favorite thing is mm -hmm. getting the locals to tell me. So if anybody's watching, please go on my social media. Let me know what to check out. Your best Ooh. restaurants, your best Tex-Mex. I want all that stuff. Because to me, that's the best way to see a city yes. is when the locals tell you, not yeah. just Google. You know? Right, not like the touristy spots, exactly. but like what do the locals know? Okay, okay, we'll make sure they get you a list. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate your time. And you can check out Sugar Sammy at punchlinesack.com. He's going to be performing. So make sure you go and check out all of those shows right there on the website.